okay in this video we will be discussing how to plot a sine wave in python here is the simple equation for the sine wave which is y of t is equal to a sine 2 pi f t plus phi here is the amplitude f is the frequency t is the time and phi is the phase of our sinusoidal wave to understand all these terms in more detail let's consider a sine wave plot here this is the amplitude which is basically the maximum displacement of a data point from the time axis the time period is the time required to complete one cycle and the frequency is the reciprocal of the time period which is the number of cycles in one second phase basically gives us information about the starting point of our sinusoidal wave in this case we can see that the graph starts from zero that means that the phase in this case will be zero okay now let's go to the jupyter notebook and plot a simple sinusoidal wave i will launch the jupyter notebook okay we'll go to the desktop and let's create a new file I will name this file as sign wave okay the first thing we need to do is to import some libraries the first library that we need is numpy which deals with numbers so import numpy as np another library is used to plot different types of graphs and that one is matplotlib as plt and let's run this okay now we have the two libraries and let's create our sine wave okay now here we have to give specific values to all those terms that we discussed earlier for amplitude let's give it a value of 1 for frequency let's consider it to be 2 and for phase 0 and there is one another important thing which is called the sampling rate and sampling rate gives us information about the number of data points in one second or the number of samples in one second let's call this 100 we can give it any number we want this is sampling rate okay now let's create our time axis so time should be and be dot range zero will be the starting point of our time axis and let's and 10 should be the ending point of our time axis that means that our graph will be plotted from 0 to 10 seconds and here I have to give the time steps information and I give it one over sampling rate so this means that there will be a time duration of 0 0.001 second between two consecutive data points it means that if a data point occur at uh, 0 second the next data point will occur at 0 0.001 second and the y axis will be a and p sine to and time plus phi i just wrote the equation that we already discussed earlier which is a sine 2 pi ft plus phi okay now let's plot our graph This is the size 
and then plot. Mm. Let's give it the title. Sign with. And X level is time in seconds. Okay, fine. Y label is M flowing Q. X axis of our graph and Y axis of our graph. Then plot and show. Okay, so this is our sine wave plot and we can see clearly that the graph starts from 0 second and it goes up to 10 seconds. If we just to show you if we change 10 seconds to 5 seconds then it will become like this. Now the graph is plotted up to 5 seconds and if we change the frequency if we change the frequency to 1 then it will be like this here we can see that the frequency is one it means one cycle is completed during one second and this is how we plot a sine wave simple and easy